American Arcadia. Yes, yes, yes! I'm almost there! I made it, Angela! I finally made it! That must be the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Come on! Come on! I can almost see the exit sign! No! 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 There's no way out! No! Oh, what do I do now? There's a retractable bridge down there. If only Angela were here... Damn it! It's over, 10 don't do anything stupid. Just raise your hands and surrender. <sighs> okay, okay. I, I give up. I've been dealing with dangerous individuals for my entire career. So my measures, extreme or not, are not up for discussion. That's the way I work, period. If you are looking for a little tender, loving care... Hire a babysitter. But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Hit him. What? Hey, no! I just saw it! <laughs> we got 10392. We're bringing him to the core. We all know and enjoy Arcadia's splendid temperature thanks to its weather-controlled dome. But how does the dome get enough energy to generate this endless spring and its 43 square miles throughout the whole year? Well, that's exactly the function of the core power plant. In this station built inside the dome, 100% renewable and safe energy is extracted daily to supply the entire city with electricity, hot water, and other necessary resources. The core is the beating heart of the city of tomorrow. And to handle a beating heart, a thinking brain is required. And that is what the hexagon is for. A high-tech security building outside the Arcadia Dome, where every system that keeps the city functioning is carefully operated by technicians and engineers. The dome, the core, and the hexagon. The lungs, heart, and brain of Arcadia. Ten three ninety two. Oh, look. If it isn't the Arcadia Gestapo, what do you want with me now? With you? Nothing. What I need to know is the name of your cooperator on the outside. So spit it out. Who is helping you? Nobody. I just went for a short stroll, but I got lost on the path of life. Oh, you think this is funny? You think I'm afraid to use more... extreme measures with you? Chief, that's enough. That's no way to treat a person. He's not a person. He's property. But your property in any case, Miss Walton. All yours. I'll be watching you, 10392. Hey, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Jerk. Trevor, first of all, I want to apologize for everything that's happened so far. This has been nothing but a terrible misunderstanding. I completely understand your position, and I I'm deeply sorry. We should have managed things differently. Oh, you mean like when you said that I could be a threat to myself and other citizens? And you were. Look at the sorry state you're in. I was just trying to keep you from hurting yourself more. Yeah, sure. A likely story. Trevor, what do you know about Arcadia? 
I know that my whole life here is a lie. I know that Arcadia is nothing but a TV show, and I know that you kill people in here. Sadly, I can't argue with your first two statements, but... Trevor, nobody has been killed in here. Tell that to Gus. Hexagon, would you please show Augustus Rainey's house cam on the monitor in room 33? There he is. Gus has been living there for a couple of days now. What on earth? Hello, Gus. Everything all right? Oh, hi, Vivian. Yeah, sure. Everything is just peachy here. Trevor's here with me. Would you say hello to him, please? What? Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You're next in line? A TV show? Man, who would have thought, huh? Hey, Gus, Trevor is in a little bit of shock, and I still have to explain the full process to him. We'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, sure, sure. Bye, Vivian. Trevor! See you soon, man. But, but I, I, I saw the images. I, I saw Gus. What did you see exactly, besides Gus leaving with two security guards? Come with me, please. I want to show you something. I'll be honest. AA ratings are slowly declining. It's not serious yet, but we need to reduce costs. All Arcadia-born citizens require stage technicians, supervisors, camera tracking 24-7... In short, lots of money. And unpopular citizens, like you or Gus, are just not profitable. So, we just need to retire you guys from the show, but not the kind of retirement you're thinking of. You see, the Arcadia Edge isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Edge is our brand new housing community at the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Gus is living there now. But, of course, we needed the travel grant thing so we could remove a few citizens without everybody in Arcadia beginning to ask questions. That's where we were going to take you, after giving you a nice compensation package for all the inconvenience. But no, nobody told me that. You ran away when we were going to explain everything to you. I was just... They told me I had to escape. Ah, uh, of course. They. Listen, Trevor. The Arcadia Dome is a major infrastructure under 24-7 surveillance, heavily guarded with multiple security measures. And only I can turn them down. So, the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a fail-safe button in my penthouse at the top of the Arcadia Spire that only I have access to. No matter what they have told you, that isn't happening, Trevor. So, I'm trapped in here. No, 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 this is not a prison. We can't keep you here against your will. But you just said that I can't get out. No, no, I said you can't escape. Of course you can get out. How am I... with those... noises? I, I can barely move when I hear those things. Oh, you mean the realignment jingle. Yes, that is one of the... security measures I mentioned. You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern to uh, provide you with an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You brainwashed me! Absolutely not! You were born with it, like any other Arcadian citizen in the last 30 years. And you've been hearing it throughout your whole life. What on earth? Anyway, long story short, we can remove the jingle from you. We'll just take you to a realignment booth and you'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. A realignment booth? But first, we need you to comply with a few things. By signing this agreement here, you refused- Wait, 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 wait. You really think that I'm going to trust you blindly after everything you've done to me? You just told me that I've been a damn Pavlov's dog my whole life, and you expect me to let you guys scramble my brains again? No, wait, screw that! I know this is not an easy decision, Trevor. 
but I have not told you a single lie. They, on the other hand, cannot say the same thing. Take your time, okay? Whenever you're ready. Look, I know you can hear me. I'm not even gonna read this piece of crap. Forget about it. I'm not doing it. You hear me? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'm not signing this. No way. Hey, is anybody there? Are you really gonna let me rot in here? You can't keep me in here forever. Specifically agrees to not discuss the show interference. I don't know how much time I spent locked up in there. Probably wasn't more than a couple of hours, but it felt like an eternity. I was physically and mentally exhausted from the escape. I had wounds all over my body, and I was still absorbing the harsh truth about my life. So everything came crashing down on me at that moment. I was determined to sign and get it over with. It's been almost two hours, and I still don't know where Trevor is. I've been switching through the closed-circuit television, and I can't find him anywhere. Oh shit, my phone! Number six, finally! What happened with Trevor? Where is he? They, they, they pushed him off the road, they... Turn on the TV. What are you talking about? We need to get to... Trust me, Kovacs. Turn the TV on. Is now on the run in the popular TV show, American Arcadia. According to his biography, <gasps> He's alive! He's alive! Oh, thank God! Uh, who leaked this? Was it us? Of course it was us, Kovacs. They wanted Trevor to be known, fine. Now everybody knows him inside and outside Arcadia. But where is he now? If he's still inside Arcadia, there must be a way to find him. I can sneak inside. Uh, maybe I can track Trevor from there and then go to... Do not even think about it, Kovacs. The Hexagon is not like any other Walton Media building. We are talking about the nerve center of Arcadia. We are talking about insane security measures. We are talking about... I'm gonna do it. With or without your help, number six. Guiding you through the entire process. Copy? Copy that. And if something goes wrong, remember, you do not know us. You have never heard of us. Spare me the lecture. I knew what I signed up for when I joined Breakout. So, yeah. Going to the Hexagon was my idea. Well, kind of. And even today, I still wonder if that was a bold move or a stupid move. Probably a bit of both, all things considered. This blizzard is getting worse by the minute. I'm freezing out here. Do you read me, Kovacs? Uh, with a little bit of static due to my old headphones, but I can hear you. Good. Now, listen carefully. You are in front of one of the back entrances to the Hexagon. The staff here use a special secure digital card to access the place. 
You will find one in the back alley inside a metallic box. It's the Arcadia Six sign, with all your names written on it. I, I know you probably won't answer me on this, but which one of them are you? Luther, Sid, or Antoine? You guessed it. I am not going to answer this question. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, but had to try. How did you manage to get your hands on this card? That was a combination of social engineering, months of decrypting code, and a bit of pure luck. We were saving it for a special occasion, but what better day than today? So, how am I going to find Trevor's location, then? We have added some extras to your SD card. One of them is some homebrew software that can be used to reverse engineer level access devices. S-O-A-R. Soar? Hmm. Like in Walton's motto, soar higher than ever before? Yeah, it's an acronym of the four different areas of this building. Security, Operations, Arcadia Control Grid, and Realignment, whatever that is. Anyway, we should focus on finding Trevor for now. The Arcadia Control Grid sounds like the place to geolocate him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, looks like the whole building's empty. You said they Apparently were the Arcadia, Arcadia control grid is right there. Crew, and right? there's just a hallway, That's no door. Us. Do not go in there yet, Kovacs. It cannot be that easy. Is denied. I see a machine on the other side of this glass. I believe it has a rhombus symbol on it. Must be an access level device. Make sure you get there. Copy. Uh, my phone is vibrating. Remember I mentioned those extras we added to your SD card? That is a proximity sensor detector. This tool works like a... like a Geiger counter. Whenever you are close to a proximity sensor, that bar will rise. So tread lightly. And if you see that red bar rising, you would better move back. Damn it. Do I really have to get inside that vent? Looks like it. But I can't look at my phone in here. How the hell am I going to avoid those sensors? 
Try to guide yourself with the sound, Kovacs. see any cameras in here. Weird. And you will not see them. Our intel says they do not have cameras in the hexagon. We do not know the reason for this. One comes to mind. Whatever they're doing in here, Walton Media does not want it on record in any way. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, could be. Kovacs, dot the I's and cross the T's. What? Th that door has a timer? What kind of moron puts a timer on an automatic door? Well, Kovacs, every automatic door has a timer. Finally, I'm inside. Now you'll have to manually transfer the permission info from the machine to your phone. Sounds easy, but how do I do that? You have to press buttons to swap the positions of the two geometric shapes. It is not that difficult. I'm enjoying doing my bit to wipe that creepy smile off her face. In light of the dissemination of the unauthorized images of the citizen of Arcadia, Trevor Hills, Walton Media feels compelled to issue this statement. We categorically deny all information that has been made public about the circumstances surrounding Trevor Hills' so-called escape. Such information, which is clearly intended to damage Walton Media's good reputation, lacks the slightest hint of veracity. Walton Media and the American Arcadia team have taken every measure to ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Tomorrow at 8 p.m., there will be an official live appearance clarifying everything that happened regarding the behavior of our citizen. This appearance will include the testimony of Trevor Hills himself. Thank you. Wait, Trevor Hills himself? W what is she planning, to wipe his brain clean? You can expect anything from Vivian. I detest her, but I have to admit that wretched woman is shrewd and cunning like no other. Hold on a second. Number six? What's happening? Damn it, guys, they're down here. We need to go, now! Kovacs, they found us. What? Who? 
Alton Media's goons, of course. They must be tracking us somehow. Everybody gear up, because we are out in five! Listen, we have to go now. I will get in touch with you again as soon as we reach a safe spot. Okay, okay. Kovacs, find Trevor and get him out. Guys, make sure we leave no trail behind us. From now on, you are on your own. We are counting on you. Stay safe, number six, and good luck. Good luck to you too, Kovacs. I'll be damned. I'm on my own. I'm literally scared shitless. Okay, not literally. Media Illuminati meeting. And look who's here. Hello, my fellow American Arcadia teammates. It is so good to see all of you here. Hello, Hi, Hello Vivian. Vivian. First of all, we know that whatever happens tomorrow is going to be crucial to the future of Walton Media and American Arcadia. So, my thanks and appreciation to every single one of you for your commitment. No, thank you, Vivian. Pathetic. You're too kind, Kendra. I don't deserve you. On a different note, I've talked with Trevor and I'm convinced he'll come to his senses. Sooner than later, I hope. And once he signs, we'll bring him to a realignment booth and everything will be ready. Realignment booth? Until then, let's stay in high spirits with a positive attitude and everything will go smoothly. Am I right or am I right? Of course, baby! Yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow then. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Boy, Vivian's super nice. She's the best. Wait till you see the look on Michael's face when I tell him I spoke directly to her. Damn it. Number six was right. I don't know what a realignment booth is, but it reeks of brainwashing. Ugh. Vivian really is the evil bitch supreme. I better hurry and find that access machine thingy before Trevor signs anything. The access level device is right there. Good. Hey, this device works differently. So what do I need to do now? Ah, uh, what am I doing wrong? Level upgraded. New level, Pentagon. Interceptors. He might look like he's 80, but this guy runs as if his life depended on it. Well, that kind of makes sense. All night long, playing hide and seek in the wetlands. Dan broke a leg chasing that asshole. Kovacs? Kovacs, do you copy? Number six, what happened? Did you make it to the safe house? Take the next exit right, number four. Not yet, we're still on the road, but I think we lost them. For now. Any news from Trevor? Yeah, but not good news. You're right. About everything. We have to hurry. We must anticipate and maybe... Maybe 
maybe carry out a really bold move. What do you mean by that? There is no time now. Focus on entering the Arcadia control grid, Kovacs. Man, you were right again. That hall is plagued with infrared beams. Mm, not good. Do you see a way to shut them down? Uh, there is a device in here. Let me try. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The device to shut the beams down is an hexagon level? What do I do? We cannot wait anymore, Kovax. Memorize the position of the beams and try to... Reenact the laser scene from Ocean's 12. You were gonna say that, right? Uh, sort of. But without the pop culture reference. I made it. Great. You are now in the Arcadia control grid. Every critical system of the city runs through these servers. I would gladly shut this whole room off if I knew how to. Me too. But since we do not know how to do that, we should use it to our advantage and find Trevor. No! I can't believe this machine is also a hexagon level! Oh, thank God. There's one of those access level devices in here. How does this thing work now? How do they make this process so damn complex? And why does this machine provide access to all levels? I only need hexagon. Damn it. It's not working. I gotta be missing something. A really simple wiring, that's all. I only have to keep track of the yellow cable. I'll take a picture of it just in case. Level upgraded. New level. Hexagon. Okay, Arcadia Control Grid. Help me find my good friend, Trevor Clarence Hills. AKA Arcadia's public enemy number one. AKA 10392. 372 cameras? Really? <sighs> Looks like this is gonna take a while, number six. Do you have time now to explain that really bold move you were talking about? Yes. Once you locate Trevor, get him to... 
You know where old Arcadia is, right? The abandoned prototype town? Why do you want me to bring Trevor there? Because that is where Arpad Kobak's Viziorama workshop is. And since we know they stole his technology for the jingle, we need to use it to get it out of Trevor's head. <laughs> what? Removing the jingle? Are you crazy? Th th that plan is like a hundred to one shot, to put it mildly. We barely know anything about the jingle. That is why you need to get inside realignment and find as much information as you can. But only after you bring to- <sighs> Number four, I told you to slow down, damn it. S stop the car and act casual when the cop comes. Kovax, please, trust me. Bring Trevor to old Arcadia. We're counting on you. There he is. Ugh, finally. No, 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 Trevor, don't do it. Don't sign that. Comms were locked, so the only way I found to communicate with him was to play an audio file from my phone. And guess what song was the first one in my recently played files? Andrew? Kovacs? Is that you? Okay, and how do I get a brand new start? Got it. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to keep doing this using only verses of that stupid song. The Arcadia Core. The beating heart of the City of Tomorrow. First time I've ever heard of this place. Now, Chief, make sure everything is ready for tomorrow. Got it? I will see to it personally, Miss Walton. Just give Trevor some time. He'll come to reason. I do not have much faith in that, but we'll see. Oh, and Chief, you don't need to... If you can hear me, this place is full of drones. You better do something!
Oh. Oh! Looks like the drones are on our side now. Cool. Stop beeping so loud! Stop beeping, damn it! Hexagon, drone to Core Hall 40B. Drone to Core Hall 40B! Drone to 40B! What's going on? The drones are off? Eye on the target! Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop beeping, damn it! the subject. Hold it right there! D drop your guns! I'm warning you! These drones now do my bidding. So you... you, you better leave! Or... or... I won't be responsible for the harm these little killing machines might cause you. Subject, 10392. You're giving me way too much trouble for a pathetic wimp. I still wonder how you managed to get the required rank to control and manipulate Arcadia's automated personnel. But it doesn't matter anymore. I'll escort you back to your cell. As soon as I have you rendered unconscious. Kovacs, if you can hear me, please do something! Kovacs? Who is Kovacs? My pet turtle. I have a six-year-old Florida box turtle. Dark shell with streaks of light yellow. Ah! So that was Miss Solano's doing. Yes, but she obviously knew it wasn't that far to the ground. That's why she opened the hatch. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I have had everything under control. What? He said Kovacs do something, and I did the first thing that came into my mind. Don't move! Don't move or I'll shoot you, I swear to God! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts, 10392. Damn it! Just leave me alone! Hexagon! 10392 is on the run again! All systems on high level alert! Hexagon! Hexagon, do you copy? Damn it! Breath for more unintentional rhymes, you blockhead! Hexagon! Oh! 
Lexicon! Stop that platform immediately! I'll find another way. Is anybody in charge? Hexagon! What is happening? I knew this Walter was too soft on you. You won't be so lucky next time. Halfway through my jump, I suddenly realized how rickety the ladder was. But it was too late to do anything about it. No, no, no! I fell about nine feet, and I landed in a puddle of some sort of thick liquid. It smelled awful, but it helped cushion the blow. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Keep barking, you idiot! What... what do I do now? Where do I go? What on earth? Welcome to Arcadia. Or, at least welcome to the land where the city of tomorrow is being built. The Arcadia project is moving forward spectacularly fast, and we hope to have it finished for summer of 1961. Let's take a quick view of some of the amazing perks that Arcadia has to offer. First of all, our suburbs. Modern housing with the latest technology included, service droids, voice-operated devices, and everything a modern American family needs. And with our road system that will communicate easily with the downtown area, you won't have to worry about traffic anymore. Get to work either by monorail or an electric car. And what about leisure? If you want to enjoy a good movie, there is a spectacular drive-in theater with an immersive new system called Visiorama. But that's not all. We have a special surprise for our audience, and here is our good friend Arpad Kovacs to explain it to us. Hello, Mr. Walton. Hello, kids. I am here to tell you we are building a new TV studio right here in Arcadia. So from now on, I will be recording Architects of Tomorrow from my workshop right here. Isn't that amazing? So, Arcadia already has its first neighbor. What are you waiting for? Call and make your reservation so you can be one of the lucky ones to be selected. Ask for housing in Arcadia now, and be welcome to... A wonderful tomorrow to live in. Arcadia? What? What is this? Angela? Hey! I, I, I'm here, do you hear me? Oh, God, finally! It's so good to hear your voice! Where am I? Is this 
The first prototype of Arcadia? Yeah, this was what Walton and Kovacs had in mind. But then Don and the board of directors took over, and... They turned Elijah's dream into this American nightmare, where being unpopular is punished with death. I don't know where you got that info, but... Nobody has been killed in here. What, what are you talking about? Gus is not dead. Vivian showed him to me. But... I saw him. I... Well, what exactly did you see? Besides Gus leaving with two security guards. I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Okay, let's just focus on getting you out of here. I don't think there is a way out of here, Angela. I'm afraid... I'm trapped in here. No, 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 listen to me. We have a new plan. Let's sit down, Trevor, please. All right, here goes. Uh, that sound that renders you motionless, well, we think that there might be a way to, uh, to remove that thing from your brain. Wait, remove? You mean, you mean like brainwashing me? Well, it sounds pretty similar to what Vivian wanted to do with me, with that realignment thing. I know, I know, but we know what we're doing. Trust me. Yeah, no offense, Angela, but considering how things went last time, it's not easy for me to just blindly trust in your plans. And anyway, even if you magically reprogram me without leaving me brain damaged, I've already crossed the jingle area before, and it didn't work out. How am I going to get out of the dome anyway? Maybe I can help with that. Who is this? Number six? Are you okay? Yes, Kovacs. I touched in a couple of minutes ago and heard your conversation. Sorry for the indiscretion, but I had to interrupt. My name is Number Six. I am the leader of Breakout, the activist group Kovacs works for. Okay, nice to meet you. They have told you there is no way to escape from Arcadia, right? Let me prove to you they are lying. Next to the Arcadia Central Plaza, you will see a painted sign on a billboard with six names. That is us, the Arcadia Six. If my memory is correct, we left a trash container below the water tower, covered by some bushes. Just climb the water tower. I need to show you something. Yeah, there's an abandoned car there. It looks rusty now, though. Which the horse of the space she had to leave her beloved car there. Do you see a billboard with writing on it? Arcadia is a gilded cage, and we know it. Sid wanted to leave a farewell message. It is his trademark. But they have two of those jingle emitters on each side. <laughs> that makes sense. They were not there when we got out. Look, Trevor. Maybe some of our intel is wrong. Maybe they're not killing people in there. There is something you and I know for sure to be true. As long as you are inside Arcadia, you will always be a prisoner. From one fugitive of Arcadia to another. Do what you need to do. Say goodbye and leave. Uh. Can I at least have some time to think about it? So, take your time. Whenever you are ready. Angela? You still there? Hey, Trevor. Yeah, I'm here. I think this is the Architects of Tomorrow TV set. Yeah. Last two Architects seasons were recorded in this.
the studio in Seidel's Arcadia. But nothing was the same after Walton stuff. Not even architects. Wait, that's... That's the piano Kovacs always played at the end of every episode. Oh, really? It's still there? It was my favorite part. That's what got me into music. Do you mind if I... No, no, go ahead. Nobody can hear you here. I still have to give it a name. Wait, you wrote this? It, it's yours? Yeah, it's mine. I didn't know you were so talented, Trevor. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional musician? No. I like to keep that to myself. You know, maybe my life wasn't good American Arcadia material, but it was quiet and peaceful. I know I'm not the most interesting guy on the planet, but I've never hurt anyone. And I don't deserve all the crap that I'm going through. I know, Trevor. And for what it's worth, I have to say that you may not be the most interesting guy on the planet, but you're a good person. And I like you. And I'm sure a quiet and peaceful life is waiting for you out there. Maybe you'll have to shut that grandpa get up and throw on something a little bit more up to date, but other than that, You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do this. We will be extremely careful. I swear it. Yeah, 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 sure. Just do it before I change my mind. At that moment, I realized how fond I had grown of that old fuddy-duddy mustache-wearing average show. I wasn't doing this because of the Walton Media breakout war anymore. I just wanted to get my friend out of that city once and for all. That was really moving, Kovacs. Thank you. It was critical to convince such a valuable asset like Trevor. To... Uh, I haven't said anything to convince him. I just said what I feel. And please, don't call him an asset. Trevor's not an asset, okay? I understand. I apologize. It's all right. What do we do now? You must get inside the realignment area and find any relevant information that allows us to comprehend how the jingle works.
I really hope your plan works, number six. I'm still not 100% convinced. Remember, we are at this point thanks to your courage and boldness. You got us to the hexagon. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> Hey, what is this? The uh, four steps of to the ensure realignment that our jingle? citizens never leave, we need them to not have any interest in anything other than living a happy life in Arcadia. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Uh, don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interesting. Uh, celebrities, athletes, musicians, but always local celebrities, local athletes and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity, their only aspiration and, must and be a rational routine. impulse or just plain and simple stupidity, will do something that might bring them close to the dome's edge. The absolute suppression we of all are means an of self-control. For that situation, any violation of the Burbank Act will result in the absolute suppression of all means of self-control of that particular individual. Hmm? That feeling of well-being will turn into almost complete incapacitation. If that measure isn't enough, they must perceive the outside world as a hostile, harsh, and unwelcoming environment, even threatening. We need to strengthen to each and every fear. Leave, we will have to reinforce each and every one of their fears. Arcadia means safety. The world outside means danger. This requires but a total distortion in their to perception give them of freedom. The illusion of freedom. Otherwise, we will face another breakout. Uh, and the only way to achieve this requires a complete distortion in their perception of freedom. They will not long for it, because Arcadia will be the only place where they can feel really free. Jesus, this shit is Orwellian and disgusting. Donald Walton was a really sick man. I wonder what this panel does. It's hexagon level. Do not activate it. It is not safe to take any unnecessary risks, Kovacs. I still wonder what this might be for. We should focus on finding useful information to help Trevor instead. There must be a reason why this is here, right? We do not know what that panel does, Kovacs. Leave it alone. Ah, uh, I have to activate it, number six. No, you do not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to do it! Damn it, Angela, I told you not to mess with that! Ay, Dios bendito! They're breeding babies in here, number six. Those sons of bitches. They feed them that realignment jingle shit when they're born. It's like a clockwork orange, but with babies! This is terrible. It is inhumane. Those monsters. Looks like every brand in the world has a spot here. What do you mean? Well, their logos are everywhere. Car brands, computer manufacturers. They must hire the worst of the worst to work here. I mean, how could you live with yourself knowing what you're doing to people? Well, you work at American Arcadia. Ooh, okay, that was a low blow number six. There are four kinds of effects. Aspiration, suppression, strengthening, and distortion. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for.
Nice that they sent everybody home. I guess the lockdown was a good thing after all. Definitely. Hmm. What do we have here? This machine seems to require a subject ID code to work. Kovac, set it to Trevor's. 10-392. Hmm. There are some branded logos in this machine. And they seem to be related to the jingle somehow. Are those... brainwaves? So this is what Trevor experiences every time he hears the jingle? Oh my god. That's how they tailor the preferences of Arcadia citizens and prepare everything that happens around them. Setting aside how ethically reprehensible this might be, this machine will tell us how Trevor's brain reacts to external stimuli. We should use it to our advantage, Kovacs. Yeah. There's a QR reader in this machine, so I better find something to feed it. An instrument manufacturer. I guess this might represent music. Playing piano strengthens Trevor's mastery and his sense of freedom. Rush Motors, the guys who manufacture the perfect work of engineering, according to Trevor. Driving makes Trevor feel in control, but also in need of some freedom. An Adenet dating service. Most citizens end up being matched with NPCs who provide them with exciting and generally completely fake love stories. According to this, Trevor feels like a romantic relationship might turn his world upside down. He might not have any control of his life, and this scares him. Yep, that sounds like him. This machine works, no doubt about it. Vivian's Disco Club. No matter where I go, I keep seeing her. Ah, uh, this is that awful line of workout videos and fitness meals. I think they sponsor Steve Just. A healthier life would make Trevor less scared of dying, but also more unhappy and less free. Social events really stress Trevor out, and they seem to turn his mood upside down. Looks like a retro version of an SP Next Joypad. Trevor looks pretty skilled playing video games, but from the looks of it, he doesn't have a great time playing them anymore.
pet food, from Labradors to Florida box turtles. Huh, looks like this booth can be programmed to generate something entirely different. A, a customized jingle, if you will. Hovax, I was thinking, that jingle generator you mentioned, it might come in handy. F for what? I, I don't see a way to remove the jingle from Trevor using this thing. Maybe we cannot remove it, but we can induce the opposite message. You're talking about creating an anti-jingle? Apparently, I coined the term. But it was number six who laid out the whole thing. It sounded simple, convincing, and a good idea. First, we completely distort the vision of his routine. We show him how strange his ordinary life is by altering it. Next, we strengthen his sense of control. We reinforce his decision-making and provide him with resolution instead of suppressing it. After that, we remove Trevor's fear of the outside world. There would be nothing to stop him from getting out. And then we give him a new aspiration, total and complete freedom. Guess what, number six? That plan might not be a long shot after all. Realignment booth. This must be what Vivian told Trevor about. Anything that you might associate with Orpad Kovacs or the Viziorama? Absolutely. Uh, there are even some Viziorama goggles in here. Trevor's pet turtle, Kovacs, is a pillar of everyday happiness for him. Yes, yes! Looks like I got it, number six, I got it! Now, what do we do next? The drive-in theater must be the place. And while he's looking at the adjustment screen through his Viziorama goggles... We send the anti-jingle through the audio system and BAM! Trevor is free of the jingle! Damn it! What is happening? Attention all security personnel. Come immediately to realignment. There has been a security breach in the Hexagon. Must have tracked your callbacks. You better get out of there now. Shit, shit, shit! So, in that moment, I realized that I had to escape from a top-notch security building if I didn't want to spend my life in jail. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. I was worried sick about Trevor, but number six was there with him, so... What could go wrong? Trevor, this is number six. I will be here to help you through the whole deprogramming process. What? Why? Where's Angela? Kovacs had to... go. But everything will be okay, I promise. Meanwhile, I will be in charge of this whole operation. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Move forward, please. Hey, this is Arpad Kovacs' workshop. That is correct. Look around for some sort of headset. Those would be Viziorama goggles. I can see them here. Put them on, please. Oh boy, that's Elijah Walton's car. The Walton Mobile. Yes. Get in the car and drive straight ahead.
once you've arrived, I will take care of the rest. Okay, great. You know, I got to admit, this town does have a special kind of charm. It means a lot to me. It was the last thing I saw from Arcadia before getting out. Okay, I'm here. Shall we do this, Trevor? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Cross your fingers, Trevor. We are counting on you. Should I be feeling any different? I don't know. Everything is still the same. <sighs> I don't think this worked at all, number six. You want me to stay in here? This is a waste of time. Ah, oh, crap. So, what do we do now? Do you guys have a plan Z? Number six? Are you there? What on earth? This is so weird. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Distort your routine. Who said that? Trevor Hills, welcome to American Arcadia, Stage 10B, Sector 9. Your life has been broadcast live for 28 years, 6 months, and 2 days, but nobody gives two shits about it. Thank you. Hello, Clark. Hi, Trevor. Lucille. Hi. Hello, mannequin. Hello. Hello, empty chair. How's your day? Trevor, my man. Gus, you're not dead. Of course I'm not. I'm living on the edge now. Who'd have thought, huh? By the way, you're going to the Spire party tonight? No, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to do something interesting for the audience? <laughs> Once in a while? Sending to Ada and validated. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Strengthen your control. I'm inside a video game? Space Cadet, are you ready to infiltrate the secret Spectrex fortress? No, I'm not into video games anymore. We need you to defeat the evil Spectrex army once and for all. Move forward! Admiral, where do I go? There's no way to... Space Cadet, execute the downward to upward escape maneuver. The what? Well done, Space Cadet. You'll rise in the ranks in no time. Space Cadet, there's an evil Spectrex ship.
press the button to destroy the Spectrex Fortress once and for all. Well done. to defeat the evil Spectrex army and save the galaxy. Now, enter your initials. Congratulations, Space Cadet TCH. The Stellar Defense is proud of you. Thank you for playing. Insert coin. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Suppress your fear. Hello there, buddy. Any secrets you want to share? You got anything to show us? We're bored. I want to know more about you. Tell me about you. How do you feel about everything? I don't really want to know, but I need entertainment. Open up to us. We're eager to consume your life. There's no privacy in here, buddy. Trevor, keep going, man. The exit's right there. Uh, it's, uh, taking quite a long time. How long have I been walking this way? Did the other Trevor send you here, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor sent me here, Trevor. There must be a way out, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, but which way? No, 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 no. It's the other way around, Trevor. We don't really care about you. We just want to judge you. Uh, you're not good American Arcadia material, boy. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Shiver with fear. Shivert is near. You won't make it out of here. Your rhymes suck! Intentional or unintentional? You know I'll be watching you, Subject 10392.
Shavert will catch you no matter what. You won't escape. You don't have the guts. You can scream. You can shout. But you, you won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? I won't allow it! That doesn't even rhyme, you idiot! My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! Which isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Trevor Hills! Any fans of Trevor Hills here? Of course not, because he has a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. He might find it hard to believe right now, but we really care about his well-being. Nah, actually we don't. So please, when you finish this obstacle course, there's an agreement I need you to sign. Then we'll brainwash you and let you go. Or maybe not! Who knows? That's the way we handle Arcadia's intricate lies! Oh look, it's Poinciana Drive 1465, the most uninteresting house in Arcadia. Would you please leave me alone? Ooh, looks like he found out he's <gasps> inside a TV show. What is Average Joe gonna do now? And most important, who cares? Shut up. You're a horrible person. <laughs> horrible, but interesting. Unlike you. Trevor, the ratings are plummeting, and it's all your fault. Now Trevor is inside the Grand Hotel Cygnus, although he obviously can't afford it. I live in Arcadia. Why would I want to stay at a hotel? But you can't afford it anyway, can you? Another plan that fails. Good job. What is that now? Plan E? Plan F? You're gonna run out of letters at this rate. Oh good, this place again. Definitely on a clip show. Trevor, this is not good American Arcadia material! <sighs> Where are you going, Trevor? Why are you still trying when you know there is no way to escape from Arcadia? Mind your own damn business! Who do you think you are? Some sort of action hero? You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. It provides 
provides an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You were born with it just like any other Arcadian citizen. So the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a failsafe button. A failsafe button. A failsafe button. You'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. Done, Trevor. Okay, who is this? I am Angela Guardiana. Wow. A guardian angel. Like Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life. Now your aspiration must be freedom. Freedom like no other. In a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M, the most perfect work of engineering ever designed, and your favorite car. Woohoo! I'm on a rainbow road! Where are you guiding me, Angela Guardiana? You are going to escape from Arcadia. And how am I going to do that? With the help of Kovacs, of course. Look at you, Kovacs! You're huge, pal! Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks to my exquisite cabbage, cabbage breakfast. breakfast. That, that was, was uh, quite a trip, trip huh, Trevor? Trevor? Was. Are you sure the jingle won't affect me now? Of, of course. course. You're 100% jingle free. free. See, See Trevor? Trevor? Science always finds a way. Gee, this is awesome. Finally, man, you're, you're gonna, gonna make it. No, 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 Kovacs, don't say that. You'll jinx it again. Oh, oh no, I jinxed it. it. Oh, no, not again, man. Huh. I'm not, I'm not feeling so well. I'm glitching. Oh, no, I'm glitching. Trevor, what are you doing in here? This is the Limelight! The best disco club on the 15th floor of the Arcadia Spire. Oh, by yours truly, Vivian Walton. I don't want to be here. I'm not really into clubbing. Then leave. Now. Yeah, I would, but I can't stop dancing. I gotta admit, this rhythm is super groovy. Keep your hands off my CCTV system. You don't have the required strength to control and or manipulate Arcadia's devices. I'm just trying to get out of here. Leave me alone. Well, well, if it isn't jingling it. Messing with the Arcadian born citizens. <laughs> That's the pot calling the kettle black. Knock it off, you pathetic, boring idiot! I'm going up? Yeah! This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today! I hate you. I hate you! The feeling is mutual. You are a mediocre, dull, uninteresting person. And you are ruining everything. You're damn right. I'm going to ruin this city for good. You don't have the guts, Trevor. This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today. No, 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 no! Don't press it, Trevor, please! No! 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 I'm melting! I'm melting! Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Trevor? Uh... 
Ah, 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 Jesus, my head. Number six, is that you? Yes, it is me. How do you feel now, Trevor? Like I took the worst 30 minute nap of my life. Really? But I assume you are finally free of the jingle. Now, get out of the car and head towards... And what about, what about the others? What do you mean, the others? The other 23,413 Arcadian-born citizens. What about them? We will come back for them, but for now we must get you out. Sorry, but I'm not leaving. Not before I press that fail-safe button and take the Arcadia Dome down. Please thank Angela for everything. I waited for hours, and there was no news from Trevor or Number Six. Nothing. I was thinking that our plan had got down the drain for the fourth or fifth time. Worst activist group ever. But then, something happened. Something that nobody had taken into account that I was the only one following Trevor's track camera. What the f- You gotta be shitting me! Thank you, thank you so much, thank you. It is indisputable that times are changing, and everything seems to be brand new these days. Brand new audiences with brand new interests that interact and communicate using brand new devices. At Walton Media, we believe American Arcadia needs to keep evolving and adapting. Many years ago, we expanded from free-to-air TV to a cable network, when the internet arrived, we grew from a television channel to a website. And now, smartphones are here. A new challenge. So, I present you the brand new American Arcadia Live app. Now you'll just be a click away from enjoying all the best American Arcadia content in your phone. You don't need to tune your TV or log into your computer anymore to enjoy a popular character crucial moment or that special event you've been waiting for for months. And don't worry about missing a thing. Because when anything interesting happens to your favorite characters, the AA Live app will notify you instantly. With its brand new real-time stream, you can vote live. You can comment live. You can be part of American Arcadia live. We are excited to bring all of the American Arcadia content to every user everywhere in the world at any time. Okay, you guys wanna know a release date? Well, AA Live is available to download right now, and it's completely free! I've always tried to be a model citizen. I'm a nice and polite person. I greet my neighbors. I'm a committed professional. I've never refused to work overtime when I've been asked to, not once. I pay my taxes religiously, even when they are quite high. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've never hurt a fly. Never, ever committed a crime. Not even a minor traffic violation. I have never even littered, ever. And you have screwed up my life for good, you miserable pricks! You're gonna pay for this, Arcadia! Oh no. He's really going to the Spire. There's something really weird happening here. And then, I started to connect the dots. 
How is it possible that until then I was Trevor's only follower? And suddenly, now, he had more than a million viewers. There was only one person besides me who knew where Trevor was. Number six knew a lot of things about me. But what did I know of him? Something didn't add up. So I decided to track him. Where are you now, you always resolute, no contractions, lying piece of shit? Let's find out. What? He's in the state! Number six is in the city too? This... this is the area. He's... Jesus! No, 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 no. Number six is inside Arcadia? God, I'm such an idiot! I have to get inside Arcadia, and quick! But I need a special ride to bypass all access controls. And I know where they come from. Trevor, I'm coming. Stay safe and... Hi, Dios mio. 10392 is not the car. Surrender now or we'll be forced to use extreme measures. Extreme measures? You want to run me off the road again? Huh? Let's see who pushes who now, you bastards. Take this. <laughs> Are you crazy? You're gonna get us killed! Oh, oh! Now I'm crazy? See how crazy oh, no, no, I'm no, no, gonna no. get! Is that crazy enough for you? Huh? Soar higher than ever before? Soar higher than ever before? Yeah! I'll soar higher than ever before! And that was my second crash of the weekend. But this one was broadcast publicly. Oh, it was, yeah. At least this time I crashed on purpose. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Ah! Ah! I'm still here! It ends today. Arcadia ends today! Hold it! Where are you going? You know where I'm going. Catch me if you can! Hold it right there, subject. Whoa. Time to go jogging, idiots! Subject is running from the Spire basement. Hey! How's your buddy with the broken leg doing? Send him my regards! Did you just say, you asshole? Please remember to adhere to official interceptor technology. Shut up, this is personal now. Oh, now it's personal? Well, good! Spotted at the Spire Japanese Garden. There he is! Get that moron! Come on! What at a time, you cowards! Hey! He's running through the hallway fountain! Unit C, prepare for frontal interception! He's running through the hallway fountain! Unit C, prepare for frontal interception! Frontal my ass! 10392 is claiming that. Uh, what is he doing? This guy's a lunatic! What? You afraid of heights? <laughs> <laughs> he is. I'll try to. Uh, this is insane! All units, get him before he gets inside the elevator! Go, go, go! Good evening. Uh, hello. Uh, didn't we meet at the Cygnus yesterday? Oh, yeah, you're right. How is everything? Uh, good, good. You're going to the restaurant, too? No, I'm... 
going to the top of the Arcadia Spire to destroy the city. Uh, oh. Okay. I guess I just got a little bit tired of the good old 70s. But hey, you two enjoy your dinner. Have a good night. Bye. Welcome to the Top of the Spire restaurant. Excuse me, sir, do you have a reservation? No! no. I do not. No. What's gotten into him? Oh, excuse me, Earl Jefferson's. Whoa. I hate that sign! I hate it! There he is! The subject! Stop! No! I will not! Surrender now and stop running! This is crazy! All units are blocking the exits! There's no escape! Hear that 10392? There's no Not even my grandpa could jump that! Ah! I'm live? On TV? Really? Is everyone watching me now? Listen to me for one second. American Arcadia audience, this is not right. Your sole source of entertainment can't be other people's lives. Their lives belong to them. Our I'm lives sure belong to- Run free. Oh, you Power miserable and style and balance. Don't you cut the to commercial- work of engineering. Classic That's sunlight work of chrome, engineering. One stole my seven. line? Ah. Wow, uh, Trevor is wreaking total havoc. If I wasn't so worried about him, I have to admit I'd be enjoying this a lot. Gotta focus. I need the keys to any of these cars so I can bypass security and make it to the Spire before Trevor. Looks like the generic version of RoboCop's Prime Directives. A dossier on Trevor. Miss Solano, what are you doing in here? Stay, stay away from me. Stay away or... It's over, Miss Solano. Do not come close. What does the failsafe button do? Drop the gun, Miss Solano. Tell me! Tell me or I'll... I'll shoot you! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts. No! <laughs> You weren't supposed to shoot me, you crazy bitch! Oh, it hurts! Oh. Hey, what the? What? What happened to your Darth Vader voice, you freaking weirdo? 
Oh, what? Wait, I, I... Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, okay, I, I'm Terry Robinson. <laughs> Just an actor. What the fuck? But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Okay... Cut. <laughs> How is that? I, I can do it in a different style if you like. A more like T-1000, you know? <laughs> Cold as ice. Uh, uh, maybe a, a, a Tommy Lee Jones and the Fugitive vibe. I, I can do whatever you need. Uh, yeah. We'll get in touch with you in any case, Mr. Robinson. Uh, does that mean that I got the part? Or, uh... Um, we still have to make a decision, Mr. Robinson. Please return the jacket to the wardrobe department when you leave. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm ready whenever you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man! <laughs> I never should have taken this job! <laughs> Listen to me. I still have two more shots in this thing, so you better start spilling the beans or I'll fry your balls. No, 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 take the pen drive. Everything is there. What? Oh, Jesus. How many floors have I climbed? This is it. Floor 140. This is where Vivian's penthouse is. I should be tired, but I'm bursting with energy. Calm down, man. Calm down. Get out of my way! Take it easy, buddy. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I said, out of my way! Do you know who I am? I'm Steve Just. You're in my... Ugh. What the... Hey. Oh. I told you oh. to get out of my way! Oh, and by the way, Arcadia is a TV show. So say hello to your audience, you spandex-wearing idiot! Damn right I'm going to Vivian's penthouse! Vivian! Let me in! It'll only be a second! I'll press the failsafe button, and then I'll leave! What the... Oh, this city never ceases to disappoint me. More of these emitters. Funny, I can hear the jingle, but it sounds kind of different. Now it's just annoying, but it's kind of pushing me out instead of keeping me in. Wait, where am I? I'm out of the dome now? It's snowing. Oh my god, he punched Steve just. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is serious. Good to see you, sir. Thank God for tinted windows. 10392 is inside, sir. We got all our units after him. Thanks for the info, assholes. Oh, may the Walton Mobile rest in peace. Well, at least I know I'm on the right track.
Really? Kendra, I'm in a little bit of a hurry right now, so... It was you all along, right? Admit it. You have been helping Trevor Hills escape. You leaked those images to the press. Have you seen the damage you've done? Admit it. Admit it now! Kendra, admit what? What are you talking about? You know what? It's over. You are fired, Angela! <sighs> you know what, Kendra? I would gladly take my severance package and leave this shithole you call a company, but that would prevent me from suing Walton Media. <laughs> oh boy, I guarantee you I am suing all your asses, so I quit. What? And now that I don't work for you, here's something that I've wanted to tell you for a long time. You are a despotic, egotistic, and miserable human being, and the worst boss I have ever had! Oh, you better take that back immediately, or I'll... Or, 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 or what? I no longer work for Walt Media. So what are you gonna do with me now, huh? You pathetic corporate lackey! How dare you! I am going to... Vete pal carajo! God, that felt great! Okay, 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 let's focus. Trevor, where are you now? Trevor! Trevor! Here! Look at me! Oh shit, he can't hear me. Quick, quick, quick! I have to get there with this pen drive! Let's show the truth to everybody. Oh, now what are you gonna do? You wanna shoot me? You wanna kill me here, live? Just try it! I can see the top of the tower. I'm almost there. Made it, Kovacs! Top of the spire! The fail safe button. Finally. Viewers of American Arcadia, my name is Trevor Hills. I'm a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. And I'm here to tell you to enjoy these last minutes because your favorite show is getting canceled today. Now what? Trevor, you are live in front of the American Arcadia audience, and you are the first citizen to... Escape from Arcadia! A thrilling, brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and escape to the outside world. Each week, a new citizen will find out the truth. And Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager from the Poinciana Drive District, is our first fugitive. Now, let's see a recap of Trevor's run. 
This is Trevor Hills. Trevor lived a quiet and peaceful life in Arcadia. Little did he know that his world was about to be turned upside down very soon and very fast. It all began when his co-worker Gus Rainey won the Edge Travel Grant. Nothing out of the ordinary. But just a few days after Gus disappeared, some very strange things. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is this? This is Trevor Hills. No, no, no. It's Angela. She's edited the teaser trailer During his two-day run, Cut it. Trevor has been the Cut protagonist of yet another example of how Walton Media feeds a degrading spectrum. Shit, that was a major screw-up. Who was in charge of all of this? And who thought it was a good idea to give that guy all the information? He's just a damn actor, for God's sake. Hold on a second, Trevor. I don't know. Let me talk with him. I said I'll talk with him, okay? We'll find a way. Jesus, I'm surrounded by idiots. What the hell was all that? I told you. The only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing the failsafe button. So, here we are. This is Escape from Arcadia, the thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and get to the outside world. Congratulations. You are the first official Arcadia fugitive. Well, you won't be so happy when we bring everything you've done to light. Breakout knows everything. I would not put much faith in Breakout doing anything, but best of luck with that, Trevor. We are counting on you. But wait, what is this? Another one of the show's intricate lies? Not at all. Breakout, number six, they're not lies. Just, um, you know, controlled dissidents. Can't say the same about Vivian Walton, though. My real name is Emily Garland. I was one of the six people who escaped Arcadia many years ago. In fact, if you look at some of the leaked pictures, you might even see my face. When we got out, we found a breakout. We tried to fight against Walton Media, and do you know what happened? After living a few years in the outside world, I begged them to let me back inside. And since Don Walton had died and the company needed a new face to reconnect with the audience, Elijah Walton's lost granddaughter popped up out of nowhere, and they got a popular TV host for American Arcadia for the same price. You sellout. You did this for money? Even when you had been a, a prisoner in here? Hey, it wasn't just me. The six of us reached an agreement, an amount both sides considered acceptable. And about being a prisoner, well... Let's just say that's how I knew the most interesting thing that ever happened in Arcadia was our escape. And by the looks of it, I wasn't wrong. You should see the audience ratings. Woo! Through the roof! My god, how... How can... How could you have done all this? Trevor, I don't think you have the full picture. Has Angela told you about how life is out there? Gun violence, addictions, poverty, political corruption, healthcare costs? God, I thought I was locked in a cage, but when I got out, I realized I'd been living in Eden. Well, I don't care. I want to live a, a real life. I want to get out. Do you understand that? I want to get out! Out of where? Look around you. When have you seen snow in Arcadia? You are already out. Oh. And best of luck, because it's 2023 out there and you're almost, what, 30? You don't have any employable skills, and you know nothing about the real world. So that's it, Trevor. You're free to leave. Bye bye Don't let the door hit ya. Or... Or what? Or we reach an agreement. An amount both parts consider acceptable. Enough for you to start a new life wherever you want. Just all I ask is that you talk to the American Arcadia audience. Say your life was never really at risk. That's a lie. You've tortured me. You've brainwashed me. You almost killed me. I could have died. Don't be so dramatic. Everything was under control, except for a few minor things. And technically, those were Angela's actions, not ours. You were the one guiding Angela! 
Jesus, what kind of a monster are you? Listen, I know things would be easier if I were some sort of a soap opera villain that you could blame everything on. But I'm not the villain. Not me, not Walton Media, or that pathetic B-movie actor that Angela tased. No. It's them, Trevor. The audience. They're the villains. They didn't give a shit about your life until you started having a really miserable time. And look at it now, Trevor. You are the most popular person in Arcadia, by far. And what? You need the most popular person in Arcadia to fix your screw-up? <laughs> Trevor, honestly, one sorry-ass edited video isn't gonna prevent Escape from Arcadia from becoming a hit. The audience is quick to forget, especially ours. Having said that, we have invested considerable time and money in this publicity stunt, and we don't want the show to start off on the wrong foot. So, my advice from one Arcadia fugitive to another? Take the big pile of money, say thank you, and leave. Think about it. Yeah, I think we're good. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yep, I believe he's ready to talk. Hello, we're back, live from the top of the Arcadia Spire. As promised, Trevor Hills, our first Arcadia fugitive, has something to clarify about his exciting run. Trevor, why did you do what you did in that moment? Oh, that. Yeah. Well, Vivian made a poor choice of words. Do the right thing here, son. Don't be a fool. Leave me the fuck alone!
think there'll be a repercussion when we release the documentary? I, I don't have much faith in people opening their eyes. Who knows? We will see, buddy. Did you hear Vivian's last statement? You think they're really gonna sue? No, I doubt they want to go to court again. They definitely know that everything in our documentary is the truth. So, this is a stalemate. Yeah, I guess it is. You know what still amazes me? How could Vivian experience the same shit that you did and still sell her soul? Well, she didn't have you. Aww. <laughs> Look at you. I knew that deep down you're nothing but a big sweet teddy bear. I never said I'm not affectionate. It just takes a little while for me to let people in. Hey, stop picking on me, okay? That thing you wanted to see is starting. Oh, talking about selling a soul. My name is Steve Just. I was the most popular person in Arcadia. Wow, Steve Just has been Trevorfied. Recently, I found out the truth. You didn't find out anything, you jackass. I told you. After you punched him in the face, which I have to admit was super hilarious. I'm, I'm not exactly proud of that. My life had been nothing but a lie. Now, under the alias Kovax, I help others Kovax? Oh, come on. They even stole that from us. Let's come up with something original, you assholes. Escape from Arcadia, Sundays at 8 p.m. What a crock of shit. Enough already. Turn it off, Ange. Thanks to